Hey everybody, welcome to the Happy Harvest Homestead. Today's video is not a fun video. It's not gonna be interesting or informational or inspiring. I have to tell you that very bad things have happened and I'm really sad about it. We had our wonderful French Angora rabbit, Sylvan, pass away a couple days ago. I came out to do evening chores and found him dead of supposedly heat stroke. He didn't have any symptoms of anything weird, he wasn't sick at all. He was fine that morning and that afternoon, but I guess the heat got to him sometime that afternoon and he passed away. While this is very extremely tragic, I guess if you think about it logically, it's not that unlikely to happen. Sylvan was getting older, he was about 4 years old, and we are just now coming out of a huge heat wave that a lot of people have been affected by. And even though he has been through heat waves before and been okay, I guess this time it was just too much for his old man body to deal with. And even though I was shaving him and keeping his fur short and coming out several times a day to make sure he had water, I guess it was God's will that Sylvan left this life and went back up to Bunny Heaven a couple days ago. And if you are new here, you may be wondering why this hit me so heavily, because I butcher rabbits all the time. I just made a video about butchering most of my rabbits, and I was happy about it, and this is a very normal thing for me to do. I cull all sorts of animals all the time, I butcher chickens and rabbits, and we have death all the time, and it is a normal and natural and good occurrence in farming. But what you may not know, even though I have mentioned it before, is that Sylvan wasn't just like a me rabbit breeder. He wasn't a kit who we had and raised to be butchered. He was almost like a pet to me. We've had him for a long time and I've loved on him for a long time and and when you are in a relationship with an animal, when you pour into them your resources and your time and your money, and then they in return and in partnership with you pour back into you their life and their, in Sylvan's case, his fiber and his children. Over the years, we bred him quite a few times, both with another Angora doe to produce purebred Angora babies to sell for money, and also to meat rabbit does to have babies and raise up for meat. And then when you have a fiber animal who needs to be groomed and cared for and plucked and you spin the fiber, you end up interacting with this animal in a very intimate way for long periods of time very often. And you're grooming them and brushing them and when they are in a bad mood, you're in a bad mood. Or if they're being really nice and behaving well, then you're in a good mood and you're behaving well and you're happy with them and then you're training them to, you know, be flipped over and not freak out. And when they get enough practice and begin to trust you more, then you feel a connection with them. And this is what happened with Sylvan. Me and him had a really deep bond. He was such a sweet rabbit, even just naturally. He would just come up to you and, and ask you with his cute little eyes to scratch his head. And he would just stay there for hours if you let him stroking him and loving on him. He was just so good and so sweet and I guess too good for this world and now he's a little bunny angel. But the fact that it was so sudden and so unexpected was really tough. If you know this was his first summer and his first experience with the heat I'd be more prepared mentally that he could not do well but because he did so well with multiple years of the exact same summer heat I wasn't really expecting this summer to be any different. But I guess the older a rabbit gets, the more things affect them, because that seems to be the case with Sylvan. So I just wanted to make this short video telling you that we now have no Angora rabbits anymore, which is really sad to me. Even though I was kind of getting out of Angoras, I really do love them, and I'm kind of thinking maybe of getting some more in the future because I just love them a lot. And also, in a more practical level, we don't have a backup breeding buck anymore. So if anything happens to Henry, our meat rabbit buck, we are going to have no breedings and no babies until I can find a new buck. So I will probably be searching Craigslist and Facebook looking for a new good quality meat rabbit backup breeding buck so that we are not accidentally left high and dry this coming fall because this is a perfect example of at any moment any rabbit could die for any reason at any time even if it's very unexpected.
and while I may choose to get into Angora Rabbits in the future again, I just lost a very close best friend. So I think I'm going to take a break from Angora Rabbits for a while and focus on spinning the fiber I already have from them. It's going to be hard spinning all of Sylvan's fiber. I have a huge bag of it, but I don't know if I want to spin any of it right now because it'll remind me of him and I don't know if wearing all of the stuff I make from it is going to be too melancholy for me. So that's kind of hard, but thankfully we have sheep now who are still alive and as their wool will grow, then this spring we'll shave them and I'll be able to dive into the whole adventure of having wool sheep, which I'm super excited about. But my wonderful dreams of sitting close to the wood stove in my camper and spinning rabbit wool by candlelight all through this fall and winter may have to change. Because most of the fiber I would have been spinning is Sylvan's. And at this point, I don't want to remind myself of his loss any more than I already have to. Especially because I have to walk by his cage every day and see an empty place where my special boy should be. Thanks for watching.